Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. A little on the cool side this morning, 50 degrees out here. Bit of a breeze blowing. Nice clear morning. No clouds in the sky. Wow. Yeah, blue sky. Blue sky all around. Sun's just peeking up over the trees there. bit of an onshore breeze it feels like kicking up some waves out there a little wave action Lots and lots of shells down here this morning. Wow, there are just piles of shells along the beach here again this morning. I can't even walk on them. Hard to walk along the beach from their feet along here. This is uh, Area 4, the middle of Area 4 Beach. foam there along the shoreline. got down here. Anything interesting? It's a little on the cold side for this Florida boy. The temperature right now is like hovering right around 50, 49, 50. anything off right off hand here nothing's catching my eye the tides making its way in here I wish that Sun would hurry up again up over the trees and warm the beach up. Let's see 
Roy up there. His red jacket. Go up there and say good morning. Feel any signs of the red tide in the air here? Smell it or feel it in my lungs? I think we're in good shape. There's an old big red drum that washed up on the beach a few days ago from the red tide. I think we're pretty good now as far as red tide goes. Crystal clear skies this morning. There's some big chunks of sea foam out there. It's actually a lot warmer out in the water than it is on land. The water is 74 degrees. There's our buddy coming up here. What's up, Daddy-o? What's shaking? You see some rainbow foam back there? I didn't see the rainbows in it. Remember that time we saw they had those big bubbles and they were all oh, rainbow? Yeah, yeah. Man, that, that was, was something. neat, wasn't it? I haven't seen anything since then. Boy, it's nice and warm out this morning, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, isn't it great? <laughs> I brought along my axe. I'm going to chop a hole in the ice so I can go for my plunge. <laughs> it is chilly out here this morning. Yeah, but I had a pretty sunrise, all purple and pink in the northern sky. Yeah, it was Northeast, beautiful. Northeast, it was really beautiful. Absolutely. Beautiful. At least it's not really windy out here. Whew. No, no. <laughs> I was prepared for everything. Put yeah, on my you're ready for polar, the, polar, the North Pole there. <laughs> and my polar bear hat. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm nice yeah. and warm. Yeah, I'm jealous. You got nice big gloves on and everything down there. Yeah, Look at you. Yeah, I wore shoes today. Woo! <laughs> well, it was out so early, it was dark and, yep. you know, I didn't want to step on shells and <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of shells along the beach, too. So it's another waves. beautiful day in paradise. Yes, it is. I had all my rainbow rays from the sun peeking through the trees. Well, you can see it right now peeking through. Yep, all just sun's rays. just coming up over the trees here. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it makes a big difference when that sun comes up out here. It warms up fast. And I got the word for the day. You got all right. Save it. Save no, it. it's very, very no, fast. But, but save it. Er, early to no, rise. No, early. no, no, no. We're not. No, no. Can't say it. Got to save it. <laughs> got to make everybody stick with us here till later. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just kind of a funny one, really. That's all right. It isn't really a word of wisdom. That's okay. Whatever it is, we're gonna make. We have to make them wait. <laughs> Keep everybody in suspense for their words of... Maybe I'll think of something more sick, More sick. profound? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go work on it. I'll catch you in a little bit. Hey, what a glorious All right. day, isn't it? It is beautiful. Look at those waves, though. Isn't that breaking out there? Are you for the polar plunge with us? Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I might pass myself. Yeah, I not I don't have old today. Bill to plunge with me. Although that water is really warm. I with, imagine it is. Compared to, compared to out the air. Now. <laughs> But when you get out, that's a little different. Oh story. yeah, then you freeze, your <laughs> popsicle off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, Roy. All right, I'm not going to let him give us his words for the day, his word of the day, words of the day, thought for the day, whatever he has for us till later.
Boy, those ospreys are chirping away in their nest up here. I think it's too cold for the gimbal. It's acting really sluggish. See the osprey nest right up there in the top of the tree? You can really, really see it very well with that blue sky behind it this morning. Listen, you can hear them. There's one up there. I don't know if I can get in a little closer. That's about it. Hard to hold the camera steady. Very cool. Spray. That's most likely the female sitting up there. The male's out fishing, getting breakfast for the family. Nothing but blue sky all around here this morning. Love the sounds of those waves. It's supposed to be a little cooler, I think, tomorrow morning than it was this morning. Not a lot of people on the beach this morning. Gorgeous though. A little breeze hitting me in the face here. tell the people from up north when you see them here they're on the beach they have a jacket on but they're in shorts actually here comes a guy in shorts and a t-shirt <laughs> crazy crazy I know 50s warm for you northerners not for us Floridians
Hey, uh, just a little rough out there to see some dolphins this morning. It'd be fun, but I think they're going to be a little farther offshore this morning with these waves. Beautiful view, huh? Boy, the gimbal's having a really hard time staying level this morning. seen a lot of uh, shells on the beach a lot of broken shells a lot of stones and a lot of broken shells further south there are some shells along the beach up here this is mostly stones but you never know there could be something a nice shell mixed in the bunch there Kind of hard to see until see how what a difference it makes when the sun comes out here. Much easier to see everything. It's kind of hard in the shadows here. Looking north, up towards Bonita Beach. Ooh, windy up here. Is anybody fishing up there this morning? I think I'm going to be out here again until next Friday. Until this coming Friday. Saturday, St. Patrick's Day. Make sure you play it safe. Have a good time, but definitely be safe this Saturday when you're celebrating. downtown this Saturday for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. So I probably won't be doing a beach walk on Saturday. Friday, I'm going to try my best to get out here Friday. 
and Sunday as well. Boy, we had a great, great response to Sunday's Beach Walk. 30,000 views. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. star up there. Some nice little cockle shells. Oh, that's not good for him. No. He's supposed to just put him. <laughs> well, I was going to show you a sea star, but somebody threw it out in the water. What else do we have down here? So let's see, there's an old whelk, an old, is that a whelk or a conch? That's, that's like a really old lightning whelk right there. Nice little cockle shell, quite a few little cockles along the beach here. Nice little scallop. Yeah broken. It was buried in the sand with a scallop, a couple cockle shells. Yeah, there was a couple here just next to me and there was a nine-armed sea star sitting on the beach and the guy just picked it up and hurled it out into the water. There's another one up here on the beach. We don't want to do that. Anything that's alive that you know should be in the water and you want to help it out, Pick, pick it up and just set it out in the water. Don't throw it out into the water. See this guy crawling on the beach here? Definitely still alive. The nine-armed sea star. You can see his little feet moving underneath him here. Get some light on him. The little nine-armed sea star. He's cold, I'm sure. They can last out of the water for quite quite a few hours. They can make it through a tide change. But if you want to help them out, you can just pick them up and gently place them out in the water. Same thing for the fighting conks. You find a live one on the beach. The tide's coming in here. So that guy will be fine. The nine arm sea star. There's a big cockle shell. It's got a nice little hole in it, too. Some barnacles, a hole in it. Maybe we can hang this guy on the shell tree. Cockle shell. There's a nice looking scallop shell over there. Wow, that's a beauty. Not too big. It's got some really nice color though. Nice looking scallop shell. Boy, that's a pretty one. that sun would come out and warm this beach up. Absolutely crystal clear blue skies this morning.
blue sky all around. Look at that. It's gorgeous this morning. Come on, level out there, camera. Got some nice little wave action happening here this morning. over to one of the shell trees there. Hang this cockle shell I just picked up. See if we can find a nice little spot to hang it. Need a kind of a small, thin branch to put this one on. Let's see. Where's a good spot? Uh, come around to the other side here. There's the, it's the shell I hung this the other day, Sunday, that Wilk shell. Still here, fortunately, nobody took it off. It looks like a good little spot right up here. I'll just kind of trim this off here. See if I can... Get that branch through this hole. There you go. Great place for that cockle shell. There's another shell for all our friends that can't make it to the beach. Beautiful. This is up in area five, to the north end of the park. Several of these trees up here. Well, I see one lady up here shelling. She's got her her bag with her. I love it. Now it is getting windy. Brr. Chilly, chilly. Even our northern friends have jackets on out here this morning. As soon as we get beyond the cover of these trees here, that breeze really starts kicking in. And there's actually some fishermen up there. Believe it or not. What a beautiful sky though. Wow.
There's part of a lace Murex shell. Just a part, an old worn lace Murex. worm tips over here. There's a nice little worm tip. The worm tip, the tip of a worm shell, a couple little pieces of worm rock over here. Worm rock. Yeah, there's a handful of fishermen out here this morning. I didn't expect to see anybody out here at the pass. Ooh, those guys are in the water fishing. Crazy, crazy. Although it is warmer in the water than outside right now. Not for me though. Boy, there's quite a few fishermen. There's a group of them down there, down at the end. Huh. It's a bit warmer here in the sun. Beautiful clear sky here this morning. I'm going to take a quick photo. Sky. Is that not beautiful? Ooh, that breeze is really kicking in out here.
stand by. I'm going to take a quick photo. Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry about that. Well, time to head back down the beach. Check in with our friend Roy. He said he's got something for us this morning to share. So, what might that be? Some encouraging words? Some funny thought for the day? You never know with Roy. Always look forward to my little chat with him. There's old whelk shell over here, another worn lightning whelk buried in the sands. The remains of a lightning whelk. Wow. Those are such beautiful shells. You can find a, a whole one, a nice one. This is an old, beat up one. There's a fighting conch down there. An empty fighting conch shell, nothing in it. The Florida fighting conch. Beautiful sky. Kind of chilly here, breezy and chilly for Florida. Right around 50 degrees. That's cool for a Floridian. Got some nice little wave action out here this morning. Half of a nutmeg shell here on the beach. A little nutmeg. Half of one. Turn it over so you can see the inside of it. wind is hitting me from behind now. Quite a breeze actually out here at Wigan up at the north end of the park. Beautiful though, beautiful, beautiful blue sky. Look at that. Clear blue sky. Wiggins Pass up there.
Hey, we hit our 20,000 likes Sunday. Now we're over 20,000 likes. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next goal is 30,000 likes. So make sure you share my live feeds and my posts, and my photos, my videos. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Introduce yourself to the group here. Let everybody know where you're watching from. It's all about bringing people together here from all around the world. These are some of the trees that Hurricane Irma knocked over here. Beautiful listening to those waves. Wiggins Pass State Park. There's a nice chunk of worm rock over here. Wow. Every once in a while you can find a really nice piece of it. Here's a nice piece of worm rock. Give you a close-up look at that. That is really cool. Lots of little worm tubes on this one. Looks like this one formed on an old oyster shell. Google worm rock, you can learn all about it. How it's made, see these shells inside there? That's a nice piece, very, very cool. making my way south down the beach back down towards our friend Roy who earlier this morning said he's got something some words to share with us so that'll be fun most of us look forward to hearing from Roy out this morning for our dolphins to come swimming by oh you know what I wanted to show you something turn around quick let's see where'd I hang it I hung a couple more I hung another shell for everybody this morning earlier on our shell tree one of our shell trees over here actually let me take a picture of these trees real quick don't go anywhere just hang tight while I take a quick photo bear with me 
Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. I was just gonna show you the shell tree real quick. It's where people hang shells. They'll hang a shell, they'll make a wish, they'll say a prayer. Sometimes they just hang it as a little memento of their visit to the beach or as a decoration. But a lot of people hang a shell in memory of a loved one that's passed away. So when you're out here, feel free to add a shell. You'll see trees like this in many of Southwest Florida's beaches. I just added, yesterday I hung this shell for one of our Facebook friends. That's an old lightning welt shell there. I hung that and then this morning I just added this cockle shell. That's for everybody here that's watching that can't make it to the beach. So I'm gonna take a quick photo of that, bear with me. Okay, sorry for interrupting the feed there, I'm back. Let's continue our walk down the beach. There's a brave man running on the beach. Too chilly out here for me to be running without a shirt on. <laughs> I got my hands in my pocket. St. Patrick's Day this weekend. What are y'all, what do you have planned? Lots of parades. Corned beef and cabbage is on the horizon. That's, that's my favorite part of St. Patty's Day. If you're in Naples, they have a great St. Patty's Day parade downtown. Lots and lots of people turn out to that. I mean, it's huge, huge celebration. I'll be down there with my friend Belfair from Nonstop Naples. Hey, here's a nine-armed sea star made its way up on the beach. Is this the same guy we helped out and put back in the water earlier this morning? The nine-armed sea star. Fairly common here. There's lots of these out in the water, just, just offshore. Let's see if I can get a focus on them. I can't see the screen at all right now. There's so much glare. Show you his little underside, his undercarriage. His little, his little feet are slowly moving around here, wiggling around. He's probably cold. They can survive out of water through a time change, but if you want to help them out, just pick them up and set them back in the water. Don't throw them. Please don't throw anything. You know, just heave it out into the water. Just set it gently out into the water. Let the waves, the tide, pull it back out. That's a nine-armed sea star. There's a lot of these living. There's a sandbar out where you see these waves breaking. There's a sandbar out there, and that's where all the, you can find all kinds of, of marine life. Sea stars, Florida fighting conks, sand dollars, all living. A lot of these shells you find along the beach here, they're alive out in the water, just offshore. I'm just going to sit this guy right on the edge of the water and let the waves pull him back out. I want to get wet here. Where'd he go? Oh, come on. He'll be fine. The tide is on its way in. We're a few hours away from high tide, but he'll be fine. I'm gonna take a picture, bear with me. All right, let's continue our walk down the beach. Sorry about that. Give you one more look at the sea star.
He'll slowly get pulled back into the gulf. Look at that, he's all the way out there now. <laughs> wow. Whoop, and back up onto the beach he comes for a wild ride. And back out. Well, let's move on down the beach. I gotta get moving along. Things to do today. Absolutely beautiful. Clear blue sky all around us this morning. A little bit of wave action. It's usually pretty calm over here on this coast of Florida on the Gulf Coast. It's nice to see some waves once in a while. That's what brings in our seashells. Probably have some great shelling at low tide today. Give you a look back north behind me. It's beautiful out here this morning. Guy is just incredible. Bear with me while I snap off a photo. All right, I'm back again. You see, we've lost a lot of beach here in the past week, couple weeks. Got some pretty big waves pounding the shore here. There go some pelicans. They're so cool to watch. love walking and listening to the waves.
We're back down to almost where we started this morning, down in the middle of Area 4 Beach. Going to check in with Roy. He told me he had something to share with me this morning. Let's we'll see what that might be. I think it was he had a funny one for us this morning. See if he's back up here behind the trees, maybe up by Audrey's bench. Usually when it's cool and windy, he'll be up out of the wind. See up there? Is he up there? I see his crutches. There he is. Up there, all tucked in with his book. Look at you. Hey, how you doing? Ron? All snuggled up there. Well, I'm, the sun's starting to come up, but it's taking it a little while. It's starting, yeah, it's starting to warm up now. Yeah. yeah, it's a regular heat wave. Yeah, yeah, you got that right. <laughs> oh gosh. Today's pizza day. You gonna join us? It's what day? Pizza day. Pizza day. Oh, that's right. Tuesdays is your pizza. Where yeah, do you I don't do know that? Where at? my pizza buddies are? They're usually here. Where do you do that at? Uh, uh, well, sometimes we go different places, but it's usually uh, uh, what's his name? Right up on 95th. Oh. Um. Yeah, I can't think of it either now, but it's right at the end of our street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sure is. And it's real good pizza. Yeah. Delicious. Leone's. Leone's, you Leone's, got it. up in Naples Park, yeah. 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 You don't, you go somewhere else though now, don't you? Well, we went to New York Pizza one time up there in uh, Immokalee. Yep, that's where that Chinese restaurant is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, well, you said uh, earlier you had one thing you wanted to share. And well, said I've was... got a few very, uh, oh, okay. very important uh, sayings okay. I want to share. Okay. The first one I was going to share with you on the beach was really profound. Okay. Early to rise, early to bed makes you healthy, wealthy, and dead. <laughs> healthy, wealthy, and dead. <laughs> well, early to rise, early to bed. So that's how that goes. So you see how profound these sayings are. That was are. very profound. Say it one more time for everybody. Early to rise, early to bed makes you healthy, wealthy, and dead. <laughs> <laughs> very profound. Very profound. Yeah. Well, I got a few more profound ones too. Okay. Here are trees, and there are trees, and in between interstices. Interstices. What's the definition of an interstice? It's between trees. <laughs> <laughs> so you see how profound saying oh, it. Yes, I mean that's. I thought you it probably was, just changed some people's lives. I'm right sure now. it didn't. And then of course the Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Wow. And so I bet I wonder if there's people old enough watching to remember that nursery rhyme. Oh, I'm sure there are. Kids. Uh, I remember it. I'll admit to remembering it. <laughs> and there was something else too. Uh, wasn't Jack and Jill? Uh, there was Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty th sat on his throne. On a wall. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty That's right. Dumpty had a great fall. Great fall. Hey, very good. All the king's horses and, and all, all the, the king's, king's men. men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. There you go. <laughs> and, Going way back. Huh? Yeah, and then there's little Miss Muffet, you know. Oh, yeah. She sat on the tuffet. Yeah, and what happened to her? Eating her curds and whey. Yeah. And along came a spider and sat down beside her and scared little Miss Muffet away. Hmm. I'm surprised she didn't beat it with her spoon. <laughs> so what's curds and whey, by the way? Well, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> Have you ever sound had all some that curds great. and whey? Well, there, I know there's curds. I don't know what the, what the whey is. Some so sort that'd of that be a, like cheese curds and yeah, bread. And I think whey is like a, some sort of a grain. I'm yeah, not some sure. kind of a bread. Curds yeah. and whey. That's what they used to eat in the old days. Cheese and bread. Now there's something about. Um, 
Willie or something, too. I don't know how Willie? that. Willie? I don't know, Willie. <laughs> well, you get, you're full of them this morning, I'll tell you what. Well, you had a good one, too. You're going, we're going back to our childhood here. That's scary. <laughs> when what other ones you got? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I can't remember them all. <laughs> that was... Oh, I know. Um, one night, dark night, when we were all in bed. Old Miss Mullary, little lantern in the shed. The cow kicked it over, and Miss Mullary said there's going to be a hot time in the old town tonight. <laughs> yep, I kind of vaguely remember hearing that song. <laughs> hot time in the old town tonight. Yep. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my. So that, that's the word of the day. That's the word of the day. Got Which her, one? Got her, well, all of them. <laughs> They're all very profound. <laughs> Well, that was quite a few words. I think what's what, what's between the trees? Interstices. Interstices. That should be the word of the day. There are trees and there are trees and in between interstices. There you go. Well, that's, that's our word very, for the that's day. That's an important thing to remember. I'd like to know what it means. Well, an interstice is something between other things. <laughs> it's between the trees. <laughs> or, or other things, too. There you go. <laughs> it's just one of those nice words I was talking about the other day that a person should have in their, in in their conversation to yeah, clarify to your vo interstices. Clarify various issues. So that's the word of the day. See if you can use interstices. Interstices or interstices? <laughs> Peace me. <laughs> I never was a spelling major. Oh. Uh, oh well. Gosh. So, so everybody. Everybody enjoyed it when I handed you the camera yesterday and you started talking to them. Oh my. I didn't know what you said. Well, I didn't until know I what to, to say. say it. It was a, that was neat. They wanted to do it more often. Well, I was just telling a story of my life, I guess. The beginning of it, anyway. Right just, from the beginning. You just gave them a little glimpse. Went to Shorewood High School. <laughs> what high school? And ran track, Shorewood High School. And what town was that? Uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. A little suburb of Milwaukee. Uh, uh, that was some years back. I got my brother, one of my brother-in-laws down here visiting. He might come out to the beach and really? yeah, meet you on Friday. Hey, I look forward yeah, to that. Rick, his name's Rick. He might. Rick. Yep, yeah, hopefully the weather will be nice Friday. I think it's going to start warming up. Oh, Mike was down at the end, the fisherman. I haven't seen him in a long see time. I didn't see him. I walked down there. I didn't see him. Well, they went down around Father. Oh, he, he had was, a whole bunch of he was down the friends end. from Minnesota visiting him, and they wanted to come down. I, I accused them of bringing their weather with them. Oh, darn. <laughs> I wish I'd known. I saw a group of people down at the end, but yeah, everybody yeah. had their jackets on. I was Mike and Oh, and wow. Bunch. Fisherman Mike was out there. Yeah, first darn time it. I seen him in a coon's age. Yep. He said hi the other day on Facebook. I did see that. Oh, really? Boy, yeah. that thing. Is that coming to life? or? Oh, oh yeah, you're just it moving good. it. I thought it was moving around on its own. Yeah, it does that, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look like you're ready for Alaska there, buddy. Oh, the old breeze perked up. Yeah. What are the little sayings that we got? I don't know. Got any more of those nursery rhymes? Nursery that's rhymes. Them. That's what we call them, the nursery yeah, rhymes. Yeah, they were nursery rhymes, that's for sure. Miss Muffet sitting in her tuffet and Jack and Jill. Mary and her little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. That's a good one. Yeah, we didn't have that one. <laughs> what, what happened then? I don't know. Mary, Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. That's right. Very good. Everywhere that Mary went. The lamb, the lamb was sure to go. There you go. Very good. Now, you've had two good ones. <laughs> Hey, you're a lot older than that people think. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm ancient, are, believe me. Those are old-time sayings. I go way back. <laughs> and if you're a crowd head, of course, there's Uvius the Skaldkavordant. Well, I'll take your word for it. What's so traurig, eid, und leer? Call the wind of ein von Norden, und die Sonne scheint nicht mehr. Well, I know we have some German friends watching, so. I'm sure, yeah. So you want to translate that? For those of us that aren't German? Well, I'm, I'm not sure. Ooh, yes, it's cold. Why is it so cold and miserable? We're so traurig, Aiden, you lair. I think that's the cold and miserable part. Oh. Cold of wind of ain von Norden. That's easy to... Cold wind blows from the north. Mm -hmm. Und die Sonne scheint nicht mehr. Sun doesn't shine anymore. Okay. <laughs> I know they were having some cold weather over there. 
Yeah. I've seen our friends Andrea and Marcus on here complaining <laughs> about the cold over in Germany. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's always beautiful here in Florida. That's in right. In Naples at our little beach here. Yeah. A little cool, but so what? Even when it's below 50 like it, it was this morning. When it's below 50, when it's raining, it doesn't matter. It's still beautiful. Rainbow. Yep. <laughs> There's always a rainbow somewhere. Rainbow rays when the sun peeks through the trees. Oh, yep. Glorious, glorious. You got that right. <laughs> well. What you reading? Well, it's quite, quite thrilling, really. Endurance. He spent a year in a, up on the spaceship. Oh. And it's all about uh, a lot of uh, good thoughts about life and creation and wow. the whole bit. He was up there. You know, a year in a spaceship, you got a lot of time to think about things. Yeah, well, the preparation for it, all the training was unbelievable. Oh, can you imagine? What he went through and, of course, uh, some of his dear friends getting killed in various calamities on these yeah. uh, spaceships and so if you had the opportunity would you go on a spaceship i don't think so well it'd be interesting for a while but you know when you spend a lot of time what what he's determined they had a lot of medical experiments too right the whole thing was very scientific oh yeah that's what they do with these. to learn things and yep. it seemed they had a lot of bone loss and tissue loss and, and oh really yeah and also uh, problems with their head because they don't have any gravity to pull the fluid down out of their heads, which is an interesting thought. He said it's like standing on your head. You know how kind right. of, when you stand on your head, you sure. you get all kind of yeah. uh, fluid pushing into your head, and you feel kind of dopey when you come out of it, and that's how it is when in space there. So uh, they have all kind of experiments to try to... Uh, they had some sort of a girdle thing, some pants to for, right. force the fluid down into their legs and out of their upper body. And huh. but uh, you know, they had some mice and they experimented with them what the what the zero gravity was doing right. to them because this would be the same as with us. And very very interesting book. If, if anybody gets a chance, why well, I got it from the library. Endurance. But, yeah. A year and he in writes space. really well. And he's got a little humorous touch to it, which is always interesting, too. Oh, yeah. It's always good, nice to have a little humor. Good, good sense of humor. That helps. <laughs> which you have. Well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> yeah. I, I enjoy life, and I enjoy talking to good, witty friends like you. That's well, always a delight. <laughs> thank you. That was a nice way to put it. <laughs> well, that's true. And these uh, Facebook friends are the yeah. same way, too. They're, yeah. Very, They're all out uh, there watching. They love you. Intelligent, witty people, and yep. it's a delight uh, having them uh, be in conversation, too. There you go. They're chatting back and forth, saying hi, and they love you. They're sending you hugs. Well, I sure appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, I got to get moving along. Work day today. How's that going? Good. 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 I didn't think I was going to make it out here to the beach this morning. One, I thought it was going to be a little too cold and windy. But... Oh, you were here bright and early. I was surprised yeah. to see you. Yeah. Oh, well. It was worth it. Coming to pizza with us? I don't know. Why don't got... you come? Five uh, o'clock. It's a lot of fun. I know I got to give somebody a ride around 4.30. We'll see. Yeah. You never know. I know well, what your car looks like. It lasts till after 5. So... I, can fi I can always find you. I can spot your car. Good. I s I spy on you all the time. I see you riding around. You don't see me. <laughs> well, we met one morning going down the road. Yep. Oh, yeah. Or Osprey or singing a song to you here. I hear that, yeah. Listen to him. Wow. I still haven't heard any little peeps. I don't That'd be they... something. Hopefully, we'll have some little babies up there Wouldn't one of these something? days. Yeah. Get right up. Right up in the tree. Right up there is where the nest is. And we're hoping that we get to see some little babies one day here. See the nest right there in the center? Well, I saw them just above where Roy sits. There's some spongy stuff in their mouth. And somebody said that you have to kind of uh, make a little cushiony basket for the eggs. So oh, they bring the seaweed in to make yeah. like a little, it's like a little mattress. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little mattress for the eggs. Yeah. That makes sense. So, well, maybe they're getting ready. It's amazing the instincts the animals have, isn't it? Isn't it? 
Yeah, they're a lot smarter than us. <laughs> they survive no matter what. Well, apparently they've got a good memory. They proved that about the birds. Yeah. So that's interesting. All right, I got to get moving on. So it's good old, seeing you. The old terminology, burn, bird brain. Bird brain. It's They're, not an insult. Not not, uh, not true anymore. Birds have good brains. There you go. So it's good <laughs> to be a bird brain. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, all right, Roy. Well, you have a great morning, a great day. Think of, think of some more birthday rhymes we Nursery can share rhymes. next time. <laughs> They're fun. They are. I'll... Um, I don't think I'm going to be out here until Friday, but uh -huh. so you got three days to come up with something good for us. <laughs> always look forward to hearing it. Well, it's always a delight chatting with you. All right, Roy. Have a good morning. Tally ho. Woo! <laughs> Take care. Don't fall over. Back. There you go. Walking backwards here. Land right on my butt. <laughs> See you later, Roy. Uh... Always fun talking to Roy. Sometimes we can get into some pretty deep conversations. Some mornings it's just fun. Nothing wrong with having fun with your friends. Yeah, it's starting to warm up now. The sun's hitting the beach. When we first came out, there wasn't any sun out here. Now it's Really starting to shape up. Beautiful blue sky. Finally, people starting to show up. Nice little wave action out there this morning. Beautiful. Well, hey, thanks for joining me this morning. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Remember, nobody pays me to come out here and do this. If you want to make a little contribution to help pay the phone bill, gas bill, whatever, that's great. I appreciate it. Those of you that have sent a little something, thank you very much. have a great day wherever you might be watching from I know we got friends from all around the world now that is so neat we've actually got to meet some of you here at the beach that is even neater it's just amazing how the internet makes the world smaller once again have a fantastic day For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.